So uh, today I'm going to be doing a bit of an overview of these two video cameras or endoscopes or video scopes, whatever you'd like to call them. They're just cameras on with a screen attached to them. You know what I'm talking about. Um, on your left hand side, we have the Mastercraft Maximum camera, the uh, inspection camera. It is a waterproof camera. Um, looks like a 35 and a half inch flexible cable um, and in, with this camera it uh, regularly retails for $349 Canadian um, but most of the time it's uh, on sale for about $119 I think that's what I picked it up for just checking the site recently uh, looks like it's on sale for $99 right now so a lot of savings um, this camera, it's, uh, it runs on four AA batteries. I find the, the life to be not that good. It's, um, I've only used it for maybe five minutes since new and it's at, uh, it's lost 33% of its life, I would say. Um, let's see side of the box you get some uh, instructions just tells you some of the about some of the features that the camera has and uh, cleaning process to clean it stuff like that gives you a, a cable now this isn't a charging cable it's more of a to take the pictures out of the camera a data transfer cable get a little carrying case looks like a lanyard or a, a strap and then uh, some cleaning instruments. And I believe this is a magnet that goes on the end. Could be wrong, I'll have to check that out. Anyhow, so you get a couple things with it. And uh, we'll go over this. We'll do some uh, testing with this later on, but moving on to uh, contestant number two, we got the test long uh, NST or NTS 500. So this one, uh, is, I would say significantly better. Now the price of these cameras do, uh, vary depending on which camera you buy. Uh, this one has three cameras in the head of it. Some of them you can buy have just one. Some of them have two. Um, when you open up your carrying case, you get a nice carrying case with it. Uh, you'll get a charging cable for the lithium ion battery that's inside of that. So it's nice, you don't have to change the batteries. A um, Couple of attachments on the end of the camera. One's a magnet and uh, I think the other one might be a hook or something. Uh, user manual and looks like you get a little return sticker. If it's, something's wrong, you can send it back. They want you to stick that on the box. Uh, they also give you sort of a catalog of all their products, which is nice. I didn't uh, know what they had to offer just from looking on Amazon. You could, I could see they had like a one, two and a three camera uh, attachment. So it's nice. It shows you uh, what they have to offer, what sizes they are, all the specs, all that stuff. So. Um, the camera itself comes with a 16 and a half foot cable um, compared to the 35 inch or 35 and a half inch cable. Um, also note that the cable rigidity is uh, much nicer compared to this one. That's uh, it's pretty flimsy. So uh, we'll turn this thing on. Uh, this camera is also waterproof. The, uh, I think this whole unit's waterproof as well. Uh, the buttons are backlit, which is very nice. Um, as far as uh, the quality and distance, it's nicer as you get up closer, as you would expect. I mean, you're gonna be in tight spaces wherever in the dark looking at uh, different things. And yeah, it's, uh, 
going to be nice when you get up close. You can actually read stuff. That's about uh, two inches away from the camera. So you can see picture quality is very good. It's supposed to be 720p. Um, it's also got a flashlight on the back of it or on the top of it, I guess, rather. There's a button for that. Um, this one does pictures and videos and it has a memory card. I believe it comes with a 32 gigabyte memory card that you can uh, transfer data, either take the card out and stick it in a computer or uh, use the um, USB cable that also charges the battery, uh, transfer data that way as well. So we're gonna uh, stick these into some dark places and uh, see what the lighting's like on them. Okay, so we got, uh, we got our camera here. We're gonna uh, turn the light on. That's the maximum brightness. There's one, two, three so three different brightness settings we'll turn it on the brightest that we can go you can see uh right now it's upside down so we can just push the up and down arrows to reverse the camera hmm, came out the hole that's pretty good um I forgot to mention the, uh, so this, this uh, head on this camera has three different cameras. There's a button on here that you can press to change the different cameras. Which is kind of neat. Um, I'll turn the brightness down maybe. Whoa, setting. Too. Yeah, so that gives you an idea. Uh, I really like the length of of the cable. It's nice if you're gonna use it for duct work or you're gonna use it for whatever. I mean, I'm sticking it inside of this frame just to see what the inside of the frame looks like. That's super nice. So nice. Yeah, and then we'll give this other one a shot. Okay, so we'll turn this one, uh, the brightness, there's one, two, three, four. So it has four brightness settings, we'll turn it on to the brightest. There you can see it even shows, displays which brightness setting you're on. Not bad, but... Not terrible. The, the video quality obviously isn't as good. Turn the brightness down. Yeah. Not the best. It's very, very blurry. Um, you can also rotate the camera as well to, I think it's uh, four different positions, which is kind of nice. The other one only has two different positions. Um, my experience with uh, this camera personally, I've gone through three of these cameras now, and uh, sort of a strange thing with uh, the batteries. The batteries would run out, I would put new batteries in them, <clears throat> and then uh, the units wouldn't turn on and I thought oh there must be something that I'm doing but uh, nope ended up going to get uh, another one and it was the same thing with that as well so I don't know if some sort of uh, issue with them I could plug in the, the USB to transfer data and it would turn on which is kind of funny it'll run off of that so I would have to uh, plug the USB into it with an extension cord just to get this thing to turn on and run so I could use it. But they covered it under warranty. So this is my third one now. And uh, yeah, it's done the trick. 
but uh, now that I've got the test long, um, will be. Uh, I think that one's gonna do me do me well. Um, you can see too the cover on the back comes off to store the cable, and that's where your batteries are as well. There's a, a tiny little Phillips screw that comes off to replace the batteries. That one's pretty nice with the cable storage, but it is. Other than that, it's not very nice. Yeah, you can tell it's a cheap design, like it's cheap plastic. Like, just that doesn't fit together very nicely. Um, yeah. Cheap screen, screen quality. Cheap. Yeah. Even like, just the weight of this, it, it feels really nice. Um, but we'll see. Uh, definitely gonna put this thing to use and We'll see uh, how long it lasts, if it has any problems. Definitely give you an update if, uh, give you, if it has problems, so.